Hi, I'm Michael Yardney and today I'd like to talk about three negotiating pressure points. Because the strong competition for properties and rising property prices has created a seller's market in many parts of Australia. And many property buyers are wondering, well how do I tip the scales in my favour? The simple answer is by understanding how to negotiate. Even in today's hot markets, savvy property investors know how to negotiate themselves a better deal because they know how to apply three critical negotiating pressure points. These are at work in every negotiation. Either you're applying them to the other party or they're going to apply them to you. So let's have a better look at them. The first one is your options. You see, when you're buying a property, it's important to convince the seller that you have more options than they do because power in negotiation goes to the person with the most options. Look at it this way. If a seller's got two buyers lined up waiting to offer him $500,000 for his property, he's got options. You probably have little chance of getting him to accept your offer of $480,000. However, it's important to realize that in negotiations, you often deal with perception rather than reality. Agents will often tell you they've got other buyers interested or better offers than yours, but they're simply applying the same pressure, this tactic, on you. To gain power in negotiation, you must convince the vendor, through his agents, that you've got more options than they do. Now currently this isn't too difficult to do because in most markets there's an abundance of properties for sale. Why not let the agent know that there are also other properties out there that you're interested in as well? You could say something like, well look, I actually like this property, but there are two others that we've got in mind as well. One's in a better location, another one's at a lower price. Remember, the person with the most options has got the upper hand in negotiation. The other critical pressure point on negotiations is time. If a vendor is highly motivated and under time pressure, you could find yourself a great buy. While it may be hard to work out what type of pressure the vendor is under, the selling agent will sometimes tell you They'll tell you they've already purchased another property, they've got to settle at a particular time or some other circumstances. Other times motivated vendors include those going through a divorce or people moving into state. Now to help find out how motivated the vendor is, you could ask the selling agent why they're selling. Where are they moving to? Would they consider a lower offer for a quick settlement? Other sensible questions to ask are, well, how long has this property been on the market for sale? Have they received any other offers on the property? How did the vendor come to this selling price? Did he come up with it? Did you? I like to use time pressure when making a written offer to purchase. I found it helps to put a deadline on my offer, such as this offer expires at 6 p.m. on Thursday, 9th of April. Now, I always give an explanation as to why. I tell the agent something like, well, look, I'm considering purchasing this property, but there's another one that's actually going to auction this weekend. And if your vendor doesn't accept my offer by Thursday, I'm keen to purchase the other one at auction. And I can't have this current offer remaining open when I go to the auction and end up buying two properties. Makes sense, doesn't it? The third element, the critical pressure point, is knowledge. In negotiations, the side with the most knowledge will do better. Fact is, if you've done proper due diligence and research, you should know more about the property market in which you're buying than the seller. However, apart from researching the local market, it's also good to find out what you can about the vendor or the seller. The problem is most of what you find out about them comes from the agent. But the reason you should find out as much as you can about the seller and their property is it'll give you a better insight to what's really motivating them. This could lead to a creative win-win situation that would let you buy the property at a better price than you normally could. So in summary, remember these three critical negotiation pressure points when negotiating your next property purchase. Make sure you take advantage of them and that the selling agent doesn't apply them to you. If you'd like to get a great team on your side negotiating for you, why not have a chat with the property professionals at Metropole. We've been involved in over $2 billion worth of property transactions. Our buyers agents are experienced licensed estate agents and investors themselves. So we can level the playing field to help you get a great property investment or your new home in this market. Why not uh, register your interest by clicking the link and finding out a bit more about our services, letting us review your portfolio or showing you how you can get into the property market.